and I was too afraid to leave uh, the grocery store on my own. Like I called my brother to come and he walked me back to my car. A woman explains to News Center 7 why she believes a man targeted her for what she was wearing. Now some want this investigated as a hate crime. The woman you just heard from is of the Muslim faith. That's why members of the Ohio chapter of the Council of American Islamic Relations thinks a man physically and verbally attacked her at a Meyer grocery store in Kettering. News Center 7's Monica Castro spoke with a woman who describes what happened to her. And then he just shoved me very violently with his, like, with his entire upper body. During New Center 7's interview with this woman Friday, she asked we not show her face on camera. She talked about how her trip to the grocery store turned into what she now thinks is a hate crime. Inside the store, she claims the man verbally attacked her as well. And I had already opened the milk fridge. I was taking out the gallon of milk, and then he shoved me again, and he's going to kill my friend in Iraq go back to where you came from and his wife was just yelling at me the whole time in the background. And when she started walking away, she said the man and his wife continued to yell racial and religious slurs. A Kettering police report showed the man faces assault charges, but on the same report, it did not identify the suspect. And now the Ohio chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations sees an even bigger crime here. So we're asking the prosecutor, we're urging the prosecutor to do their job and add the enhancement for the hate crime. The city of Kettering spokesperson says it condemns acts like this. In a statement, the city said it wants all its residents and visitors to be safe and secure in Kettering. The Kettering Police Department and Prosecutor's Office take the pursuit of justice seriously and will investigate and bring all appropriate criminal charges in each case. But care officials don't feel justice is being served. Have the be charged with this so that people can be held accountable. And I tried to explain that. And I was just told that the defendant has been properly charged. And that's it. Care officials and the woman attacked hope the prosecutor will add the change. For now, the woman says this has scarred her. Definitely now when I go out, I just always looking over my shoulder. When I see someone, like I'm always looking at the corner of my eye, noticing all my surroundings and everyone around me. Monica Castro, News Center 7.